this is Beta FPV's 1S exclusive 65 millimeter prop ultralight quad that I personally consider a toothpick class quad. And they're marketing it as the first ever whatever, whatever, but I think they got a lot of things lost in translation because I think what they intended to say is that this is the first ever bind and fly or ready to fly 1S exclusive 65 millimeter twin blade ultra right light micro, which I call a toothpick class quad. And um, let's give them that because I do think this is the first ready to fly 1S quad of this style that I have ever seen. And so it's pretty interesting that they came out with this after the class became very, very popular and the formula became very well known. And so this quad with the 300, 300 milliamp battery that it comes with is about 36 grams all up weight. With this 600 milliamp pyro battery, which is really just like a 450 milliamp, it's the same exact battery as a 450 milliamp, same flight time, same everything, is 43 grams all up weight. So. I'll talk about the quad in a minute, but let's talk about the BT2 connector. So this BT2 connector is very special. They have developed it specifically for 1S to give you all of the actual performance of the battery without limiting the, um, the current and everything and killing your, your flight time, killing your performance, killing your everything. And with this 600 milliamp battery, I have tested and found that, yeah, I am actually getting full performance out of this connector. So it's really nice. At least the full performance that I've seen compared to XT30s that I've run on a 1S 65 millimeter, 2.5 inch kind of toothpick style quad like this. Unfortunately, this 300 milliamp battery from Beta is just awful and it cannot power this thing even a little bit. I mean, fresh battery, fresh charge, you hit the throttle and you get a low voltage warning. So that's not gonna work out. And <laughs> I wouldn't even recommend just don't even bother you with this battery. You're gonna have to get the connectors and make your own batteries for this thing. But the connectors are worth it because they do actually work really nicely and really well. So kudos to them for developing this connector. It really is appreciated hugely. So what they have in this quad is their 1S whoop board. And there's no, the connectors are the same. Everything is the same. Nothing has changed on here. It's downward facing so that you can um, get access to the USB plug. They do have a separate individual VTX in there. I'm pretty sure it's 25 milliwatt. It's the same thing that's on the Meteor 65 or all their whoops. And the camera is also the same thing on their whoops Meteor 65. And the canopy is the same thing on their whoops Meteor 65. Canopy is complete trash. I don't know why they keep using it, but hey, you get a canopy. The camera is not as good as it could be in my opinion. The OV231 or 199C are better cameras, nicer quality and nicer lighting situations, nicer sharpness, nicer, everything about them is better. So I don't, I can't really excuse them for the really poor quality, poor picture quality camera that they put on their whoops in this quad as well. But let's talk about the performance because that is kind of what everybody wants to know. So these are 1103, 13,500 KV motors. And I, so let's first talk about the performance. The, the frame is, is okay, it's two millimeters. It seems like it's strong enough to hold up to one S power and it, at 40 something grams, is, it doesn't quite have enough power to break itself. But I mean, if you step on it, it's gonna break. So the performance of this thing is actually really nice. It does have a whole lot of jello and that is because the motors are the old Racer Star style motors. They're not very good as I think they're the old Racer Star. They look like the old Racer Star motors or maybe not, they're actually a little bit different. But whatever they are, they're not very good motors. The bearings aren't, maybe the bearings aren't good. Maybe the balance isn't good. Whatever it is, there's a lot of jello in the video. And uh, once you bang it up and bash it up a bit, as I did, the jello kind of goes away, away or once you kind of drop down into the voltage, the normal voltage range of the 1S battery, it kind of goes away because you don't have access to the super high RPMs of the motors. But the performance is actually really nice, except for the fact that the camera angle is just so crazy low that it makes it so exceptionally difficult to fly. Also, the issue with the 1S board or the all-in-one whoop board is that the range on it is just horrendously bad. Like this is worse than the crazy B boards. I I'm flying around and I'm constantly losing control as I'm flying around this tiny little park. So it it's just, it's really frustrating because this quad could be so awesome, but it's just not great. Direct line of sight, you, gotta, you get pretty good signal, but through any leaves or anything, it's just not that good. And pretty much all my crashes are due to control loss because I can't, I, I don't, I can't, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> just got no more control. But it does perform really nicely. I think the 13,500 kV motors are a little bit high. I would say 12,000 or 11,000 or even 10,000 would be totally fine. I'm personally kind of testing 10,000 for three inch 1S. I think that's going to work out best. 
but yeah the the performance is great you do need a lot more camera angle the canopy is not very good it's not going to hold definitely isn't going to hold up uh the camera could be a little bit better but hey it's the first ever 1s 65 millimeter micro toothpick style quad that's ready to fly and ready to buy would i recommend it eh, i think you can build a better one yourself you can just pick up some some 1103 10,000 or 11,000 or 12,000 kb motors and just throw some 65 millimeter props on it yourself with this whoop board the 1s whoop board and you're going to do about the same as beta is going to do with this so yeah that's that this is cool thanks for the connector if you want to pick this up you can but i bet that there are quite a few more quads of this style coming and i do know for a fact that the three inch versions of this are better they perform a lot better they really are nice to fly really fun to fly uh and yeah so talk to you later i'm just trying not to give away so much okay bye